All right, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Orion Six. Uh, I decided to make a small guide on one of the ways that I use to make money whenever I'm bored, pretty much. Uh, which is the very popular uh, Green Dragon slang for their bones, which right now I believe are around six point oh five eight k, something like that. But uh, which is really good right now. They're pretty high up there so it's not the best time it's it's pretty it's a good time to do it um pretty much uh i would like to introduce myself i am orient 6 and i wanted to uh put in a little thing about um what shoot in orient pro is we are basically a uh duo channel we are duo runescape we we've been playing runescape for uh way too long but it's uh, about seven years, and that's uh, since the seventh grade for me. Um, and we've known each other in real life for quite a while. It, uh, his name is Shooter3422, and together we decided to create this channel called Shoot Norium Pro. We put our names together basically, and here we are. I don't think you'll find another real uh, duo channel on YouTube at the moment, but. Just, uh, we made a pretty nice vid recently about, uh, our, uh, history, what we'd like it to be at least. And so you should go check that out. It's called The History of Shooting Orange Pro. Um, yeah, anyway. So, Dragon Bones is what I've been selling, uh, to get a little extra cash. And, yeah, so here, here we go. Alright, I head out, uh, from Edgeville or sometimes, uh, the south bank of Iraq. And, I head up to you can see on the main map uh the ditch of the wild. Um basic you can do a lot of you can uh I take void because I don't really know why it just it's void, so I take it. Uh I got a DFS and a whip and uh dragon mace for a spec you can also take if anything else, uh has nice spec, uh, D long, I wouldn't recommend that, but DDS is alright, Dragon Mace has, I'm just experimenting with it, it's worked out pretty good lately, uh, I also take, you may wonder why I'm taking a super strength and a super attack, uh, why not, uh, basically they're both worth less than one whole Dragon Bone, so, it costs one kill to stay maxed, well not maxed, uh, I don't have extremes yet, but, uh, perfect stats for a long time. Uh, I take about three food. I probably don't need three food. Um, got my 99 HP recently, and my familiar war trotter's pouch is what I take for holding extra bones. Uh, basically, I, I sit here for about well, I, I don't really, but I sit here and I look and I try to figure out the order of the dragons because you're gonna need to be quick about it. The key to actually getting kills in here, which you, there are tons of low, uh, lower levels, higher levels, any, everyone comes here because the uh, bones are so much right now, but, uh, so if you want to get any kills at all, oh my goodness, look at that. But if you want to get any kills at all, you're gonna have to be quick about it. Uh, just for the heck of it, I use, uh, Piety on Quick Prayers. Uh, dang it, I forgot my house teleport. That is what I use. I use a house teleport to ha teleport to house. I have a rock portal in my house. Um, to go to Varrock and bank my items, and then I just run up around. Uh, it also has a uh, prayer altar in my house, so I'm not worried about using my prayer every time. It's all to help. And um, basically, you want to be the first to attack the green dragon. Uh, that is how you kill it. I'm going to pot up here. Or you could just kill it. You want to get more uh, you know, hits in than everyone else. So basically... Um, looks like they have the order switched since I've been here last. But basic, you want to get your your hit first hit in. If if you don't get that normally, you're not going to get the kill. Um, it's all about the first hit. And if you hit a zero, mm, you're probably screwed. But you never know. Sometimes everybody else is hitting zero. Sometimes you're hitting uh. Sometimes I I've gone in. You know, it's about half dead, and I still got the kill. So, yeah, I, I can't really focus right now, so I'm not doing 
you know, uber good, but... But, so far, D-Mace has worked out pretty well for me. Uh, the amount per hour of Green Dragons. For me, I, I get 18 slots in the turtle and 26 slots, uh, in my inventory, which makes for a total of 44 slots, uh, for about 6k each, that makes 264k every trip, and I do a trip in about 15 to 18 minutes, making it approximately 4 trips per hour, making that approximately a little under, or a little over, a 1 mil per hour, which is not too bad. The only problem is you kind of have to focus here if you want to get all the hits in. I just a lot of running in circles. Uh, sometimes uh, bringing a super energy is helpful. Sometimes not. It doesn't matter. I, you know, I have a ring of a uh, explorer's ring three, which is really helpful. It, it lets you replenish your run. I think three times you stay. It's from the uh, Lumberd's Diaries achievement diaries number three. Um, and this, this is about it. You go around in circles, kill the things. I'm not doing very well right now because I guess I'm not good at focusing and killing at the same time, but normally I'm running around the circle, getting the first kill. I'd say this occupation for me is probably very, uh, if you want to call it an occupation, is probably very, uh, Disliked because whenever I normally come in here, I probably drop the amount of drops they get by 50%. Um, because I get a good amount of dragon bones. Uh, another one of my secrets is uh, it's not really a secret, but it helps me. You you kill the dragon really fast, and it depends on the uh, spawn rate of the world. The more people in the world, the faster the spawn rate. But the uh, I leave my bones on the ground and run to the next dragon so I'm there before everyone else and then you get your first hit and maybe sometimes even a second one. Uh, it's getting pretty crowded here so I don't know about that. Uh, you try to find a world with not a plethora of people there. But pretty much that's what you do and you kill your dragons, you get your bones, you go to the bank, you sell them and you make your money, you're happy. Uh, I hope you uh, n understand a little bit more about uh, what Shooter and I are about, but we, um, that's us, we're a duo, and here's just a little tip to help you make a little money, uh, uh, one more thing, uh, I have found that if you have 90 plus or even 80 plus range here, you take a rune crossbow, uh, full void, maybe, uh, if you don't have full void, just black dragon hide armor, your regular range here, um, uh, slayer dart, I mean, uh, Slayer, oh, Slayer bolts, the broad tip bolts with the rune crossbow, and you can do pretty well here. I would recommend range pot, but normally you can get in one or two hits that are higher than everyone else, so you get your kills. And now I'm just leaving my dragon bones all over the game. <laughs> but that's about it. I uh, hope you liked this video, and uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and please, we would like people to comment on our videos more. It's kind of depressing when we don't have any comments, but... Alright, thanks, that's it, bye.